Guess we better cut down again on rice and egg. My lady. Down on what? You've been cutting down on everything, even the air. What else is there? This dog is cutting down on everything. He ain't moving. He probably dead. Nope, not dead yet, but he ain't moving. So he's cutting down. And you want me to cut down more? You saying we ain't cutting down enough? Them kids don't even move. They're cutting down on reactions. This one doesn't look like it's breathing. This one doesn't know if it's alive. So we still cutting down more? We've been smelling this can without even opening it. Just pairing it up with those fake rice and serving us. Do they still want us to cut down? Not sure what they want. How about I cut off my arm and sell it on eBay? Probably could get some more cans for this. More sniffs for us. Right, Pooch? He's still dead. Selling. Probably two cans of snips. Two cans. What are we selling next? This could work. It's gonna be easy on the hole. But this could work. Alright. Ain't gonna be easy on the foot. This is good work. Today, I bought an egg worth a quarter to a dollar. Can you imagine a quarter for an egg? That's actually 10 pesos here in the Philippines. That's per egg. That kind of made me think of what I've been cutting down to survive for the past three years. Electricity. Out of 50 bulbs, I've only been lighting two per area use. Travel and commute. Out of traveling and commuting daily, I now travel twice a month. I do everything online if possible. On food, I only cook one menu for all meals of the day to save on electricity or gas. I've abolished eating out. But if I'm out, I bring my own food. Clothes. I use only one set of colors to avoid numerous loads on one machine or I hand wash each. Connection. I switched from postpaid to prepaid so I can monitor the usage and bill. Vehicle usage. Walking helps with getting mobile and helps with your daily exercise to avoid depression, saves on fuel, and for those short errands. Recreation. Exercise at home, if possible. Home entertainment. We resort to books. It has no energy consumption if you read during the day. So that was my list of cutting down for the past three years during this pandemic. So stop imagining food or looking at food to avoid unwanted cravings. And here is our way of virtually extending the experience of having toys, especially nowadays. If you find this list helpful, feel free to send us a message. What's your tips and tricks to save money during the pandemic? Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button and do share. <laughs> this video is powered by Digital Practice. We've had these toys for the past 15 to 40 years because we have a place to put them. We save them for the next generation. Our houses save lives, they save on costs, they save toys, kids happy.